coming out of the belly of Vikram lander which Chandrayaan-3 was carrying. Um, it is landing on the far side of the moon and it will conduct studies such as elemental analysis, chemical composition, thermal shock and thermal effects on that side of the moon because uh, you need to understand that you know uh, the information that we have the first hand information about this side of the moon is very rare because um, about more than 60 missions have been launched uh, to the moon and uh, most have been on the near side of the moon which is exposed to the earth and we don't see the, the far side and uh, it, it will conduct uh, these these measurements which will uh, which will be very important for all the future missions on this side of the moon. Uh, exploration to the far side of the moon is very important as I said before. Uh, it is uh, the less known side of the moon. Uh, whatever we have uh, found out so far about the moon is from the missions, uh, about 60 or more missions on the near side of the moon. But uh, the information, the first 10 information, from the far side of the moon is is very rare and uh, there are better measurements in my view to be taken on the far side of the moon nonetheless the chemical composition the elemental analysis the thermal effects and uh, you know the effect of soil on the rover movements etc all these things are very important however uh, something more important would be the effects of radiations on on equipment and you know uh, different components things on on this side of the moon uh, and uh, as well as uh, what kind of radiations what kind of dosages are there and this is this will be very important for for all the next missions and as well as uh, as well as human space exploration however i think uh, other agencies in the world might already be uh, thinking about the radiation effects on the far side of the moon. There may be missions coming out already to study the radiations and to investigate the kind and intensities of radiations on that side of the moon and their effect or future effect on human space exploration. Uh, the total duration uh, of the mission from the launch is around I think 50-60 days um, for sure it has been out for more than 40 days now it has done the soft landing and um, and uh, the Vikram lander would, would take the, the rover out and I think most of the measurements will be done within within the first 10 to 15 days and after that, everything will depend on the on the communication of the rover with the lander, and um, you know then then they will um, they may or may not be able to do more measurements. But if they do, then you know if they're lucky, then they will keep doing taking other measurements um, after uh, these uh, initial days as well. And nonetheless, all the data generated will be very important for all the future missions on this side of the moon. The, the benefit in, in this era is not only for the defense, but all the information collected in space is also useful on Earth. So most of the technologies that uh, people are trying to develop in space are or at least are supposed to be cross-cutting so that they can benefit the life on earth um, additionally uh, the this kind of mission or successful missions like this will uh, definitely boost uh, the, the the space industry in uh, the country and and globally as well so the space industry will will get a lot of attention and uh, you'll see that uh, many people will uh, get inspired and uh, many organizations will use these data to develop future missions. Uh, many students will get uh, inspired by such missions and they will choose to study, investigate and do research in, in space uh, related subjects and uh, I think uh, this will uh, definitely benefit uh, the space industry um, in the world.